All right, here we are. Today is uh, Monday, October 10th, 2011. Yes, that's over two years since the last video. Uh, it is uh, 16 degrees outside, it's a beautiful day. A little humid today, yesterday was even, weather was even better. Anyway, so here is, here we are. Here is the hull. We are back in the paint booth. Um, the hull is just about ready for paint. Um, literally all that has to be done is it needs to be sanded one last time. And I can't sand, sand it too close to, or so I have to sand it really close to what I paint it so that there is no, um, I mean blush, which is basically an oxidization. So uh, here we are, you can see some runs, which you can see the runs. Yeah, you can see the runs. You should be able to see the runs. Yeah, you can see the runs. Um, Anyway, so yeah, the runs, not really a big deal. They will come out when I sand it. I intended that. It's just that uh, I had to put a last coat of uh, clear epoxy on, and then we're good to go. Um, my biggest question with painting is right in there. How am I going to get paint in there? And I have yet to figure that out. Um, I'm going to be spraying, um, but I don't really know how I'm going to get paint in there. Um, these guys right here, I've got one at this end. And I've got that thing hanging down over there. They are to suspend the boat. So the plan is, um, the plan is to hang the boat from this. You see the two bolts, and you could go in here, go in these holes right here where the um, gudgeon is gonna go in. It's exactly the exact, the holes are in the exact right place for the gudgeon. Um, that is so that I can do both the bottom and the top of the boat in one spray. So I'm going to spray the bottom, flip it, flip it, spray the top, come back two hours later, do the next coat. Um, so that should make this whole process much, 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 much uh, quicker, faster, easier. Um, this paint I'm going to use, I was going to use Interlux, however, um, you have, I have to brush it. If I spray it, I need a um, uh, supplied air, like an oxygen mask basically. And uh, well, we don't have that, so that's the way that is. So I'm actually using System 3. Um, System 3. WRLP, linear, linear polyurethane. It uh, is pretty much the only marine paint that can be sprayed with just a charcoal filter rather than supplied air. So that is, um, that's what I'm gonna do for that. All right, and uh, just to show how this is gonna work. So this guy literally just goes in the bowsprit tube like so. And you can see I've marked it with yellow so that uh, when I flip it, it there's a little bit of, um, it comes out a little bit each time. And so I just marked it with some yellow just to show where it is exactly at the end of the hull. Um, yeah, right ready for paint. Very, very smooth, fair, as they say. Um, so yeah, the uh, access port for the hull. Um, I've left kind of left the fiberglass on until I'm done painting just to keep stuff out of inside, but it'll be easy to trace around it with a knife. Should be no problem to cut that out. Um, where the mast step is going to sit. Um, yeah, I'm ready to go. I literally need the paint to show up, which is supposed to show up tomorrow, Tuesday. And then Friday, as soon as I'm done work, I'm going to come home and I'm going to sand and sand and sand and sand. Um, I'm down to 150 grit, which um, I was expecting I'd have to go to much higher grit. However, uh, uh, System 3, you... Um, it has excellent, excellent, excellent surface tension strength. However, the adhesive strength isn't as great. So you leave it to a rougher um, uh, surface to spray to and then uh, put lots on. And then the plan is to just buff the top, which should work really well. I've got a Ryobi random orbit sander and I'm pretty sure I can get buffing pads for it. So it's that's a nice sander too. I really like that sander. Ryobi, what I'm saying, rigid, not Ryobi, rigid. Um, anyway, so that's where we're at. Um, yeah, ready to spray, hoping to spray next weekend. Um, plan is three or four coats of primer on Saturday, starting at six in the morning every two hours. So six o'clock, eight o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Wait 24 hours and then start the top coats. So that'll be 12 o'clock, two o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Thank you for uh, checking this out. Ciao.